Hey, what's going on YouTube? First of all, I would like to thank everybody for 8,000 subscribers. And now we're gonna open and rebuild this 13B from my RX-7 engine. Got the EGR right here. Leave in the comments below if you guys recognize, if you guys can tell what keg this RX-7 engine is. Is it a S4 or S5? As you guys can see there, let's see all the experts out there. Leave a comment below. So let me go ahead and open it. And we're gonna start by <laughs> removing the tension bolts with the 17 millimeter. And then we go ahead and remove the 12 millimeters for the uh, stationary gear. I'm sorry, stationary gear. We're gonna leave the housing for now. We're gonna leave everything. We're gonna remove the spark plugs with 13 16. We're gonna remove the wire pump with the 12 millimeter on the where is this the 13? The 12s. 12 millimeter from the uh, timing cover. Um, then the water housing. Let me go ahead and start. Okay, after remove the 13s and 12s, water pump and housing is off. If anyone needs this one, because I'm going to need this one new. If you guys need uh, um, the housing and then with the old water pump, let me know. It's free. I can sandblast it for you guys. I'll show you before and after. It's going to be sandblasted. So you, can, you guys can have it for free. So, um, add me on Instagram or either leave a comment below. Only thing you guys have to do, of course, cover shipping. So now, next step, we're going to remove the timing cover, 12 millimeter. So let me go ahead and remove it. 12 millimeters for the timing cover is off. Just pry it up. And there you go. Ooh, -wee. this thing is looking clean. Uh, if anyone out there needs a timing cover for the RX-7, S4, S5, 13B, let me know. This one even fits on, on the Renesis on the RX-8. So if anyone needs one, I have multiple, like three or four of them. With the mechanical, oh. oh, is it mechanical? Oh, I'd say I don't know if it's mechanical. Is uh, electric? Well, let me check it out. But you guys, you know everybody. Best way to go is uh, we have to cancel the OMP. So yeah, anyone that needs a timing cover, as far as file, let me know because I have multiple. Free, it's cover shipping. So let's go back in here. This thing looks clean. All in this little exit, but it looks clean. It's looking good. Let me clean my camera, the lens, and I'll pause it and remove that. Okay, to take this assembly off, remove that. Remove it. And this one, you guys, everybody knows already. There's a locking washer in here. Just get the little flat thing off, which is down there. With the 17 millimeter, remove the oil pump gear. Sprocket. The counterweight and then remove the oil pump with the 10 millimeter. Let me go ahead and do it. Okay, the lock washer, I kind of strain it on the 17 millimeter for a nut. The oil pump gear is, is about to go out. Slide it off, it won't the gear. There you go. Got the complete assembly here. Oh, well, those gears are clean. N30, N326. So we have this one in here. Remove the counterweight. Man, these things are clean. It's either someone had rebuilt this. Yeah, it seems like someone repealed this before. So, it's a good sign. So, we're gonna. The needle bearing, the spacer, the keyway. So needle bearing. Got the spacer in there. This we're gonna need a bagner. Oil pump. oil pump? Yeah, remove the oil pump is gonna be the 10, 10 millimeters. So let me go ahead and do it. Alright, oil pump is off with the 10 millimeters. Now we're gonna remove the washer, the top washer for the um 
from stationary gear with the 12 millimeter. Let me try to use one hand. It's because I don't have a tripod to this. There's one. Second one. Another one. Sorry for the shaking, but you know I'm using one hand. There you go. So we got the bolts, put them on the side. This thing even has brand new bolts, man. This engine is gonna be a good build. Washer. Another needle bearing. Needle bearing is off. This one is your spacer. Let's see what letter it has. Uh, K. The letter K. The letter is here. There you go. Hey, for everybody out there for on your RX-7 or RX-8, you know the irons, people is there, you guys can lap it, you can even resurface them. And then, especially on the RX-8, you have more chance. Why? Because the groups are on the actual housings for the water house, for the water seals, not on, the, not on the irons. But on the RX-8, or even if you have time on this one, you have a, more machinery or stuff. If you mill it down, and then, and then you know, all you have to do is worry about this end plate. So on the end plate, you can fix it out by machining this down. This is the end of the E shaft, right on the end. Once I remove the E shaft, I will show you. But you can machine this one down, whatever mills. All you have to do is your me measurements, measure everything, how much material you took off, and then to fix that, you're gonna have to mill down the the E shaft right on the end right here. That's a little trick, but you guys can go ahead and resurface your irons. But let me go ahead and hurry up because I only have another like five, ten minutes, so I can work on this one, disassemble, and then get it done. So this is done. You're not gonna remove nothing from here yet. Let's remove the bolts. You're gonna turn this around. Now we're gonna go for the 17 millimeters on the tension bolts. That's how it looks? 12 millimeters since I already have the socket there. 12 millimeters for the rear stationary gear and then the 17 millimeters. Let me go ahead and get it done, open it, and then see how the rotors are gonna look. All right, tension bolts are off. Well, I'm not off, but I'll lose. So uh, we can go ahead and remove those. These tension bolts were loose, so that's a good sign. Someone someone has previously rebuilt this RX-7 engine, it's 13B. Tension bolts, oil pump, Needle bearings, flat, uh, flat washer, um, oil pump gears, oil pump chain, even the um, balancer is new. So, oh, the counterweight is new. So, um, let me remove this, let me open it, and I'll see how it's gonna look. Okay, the rear iron is off. First thing we're gonna inspect. Anything burn where the water seal is all at. We gotta make sure that there's not um no cracks. Of course, the first look you can see everything looks good. And then, hey, remember when you guys assemble any um as you guys can see if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see my reviews there. More explanation on how to assemble the rotor, how how to put the water seals, everything, the stationary gears. Uh, as you guys already know, I've seen that the water seals has their position, black top up, white up, and then it has a little mark which has to be on the cold side. So uh, the water, even the water seals has their their position. So, uh, so you guys know on, on my on my feed or or how do you call that thing on Instagram? My um, whatever thing when you make videos is on there on your on your um. I'm new on Instagram, so I don't even know how you call it. Those videos that you record and then delete itself. So, if you guys follow me, you've seen the reveals there. So, this iron looks good. Even has a really good surface. Good to go. Now let's remove the. The rear rotor. Let me get this off. Sliding right out, so that's a good sign. You have the apex seals right here, look. Good. 
the one here good we have some movement and then a little corner of the apixel where is this this is third so let me get it off let's see so let me get this roller off on it let's inspect it the back is the rotor side seals oh, even apex seals they look solid So the front one is it's good. Let me remove this off. Of course the rotor on this one is the apex seals there. They're not only a solid piece, so you can see three pieces, which is two in here and a little corner in there. So one, two on this one there. Let's see the other side. This apex seal. Springs. It just seems new. Seems new. Uh, we have one side seal stuck. It could be because of the water. This one is nice and bouncy. This one too. Check the other one. Good. It's because it's been sitting, so that's why this one's stuck. The bearings. The bearings are. Yeah, they're good. Didn't spin around nothing. Oil seals. Oh, this rotor is perfect. We're getting lucky. What I'm missing is one corner. Oh, don't tell me it magically disappear. Let me look it up. Okay, let me take them apart and then inspect, and we'll go from there. All right, here's the front rotor. The housing is super clean. I'm amazed because you hardly see the S4 or S5 housings clean. Even the rotors are clean. Apex seals are good. I'm gonna measure them and see. Let's see one went down. But the apex seals, man, it looks so clean. It was like previously rebuilt. Let me remove everything. Enough epic seal. What I can still find is the other corner for the apex seal. So let me get this off. Springs, everything put them on the side. Side seal, corner seals. Oh. Weird. Okay, let me get that off too. And then this housing is clean too, so man. So, I wonder what went down. Iron is clean. Uh, I don't see anything burn yet. So let me finish getting that everything apart and I'm gonna wash it and, and inspect it really good. Alright, so that was the disassemble. I'm gonna take everything off. These rotors, these rotors are new. They just have some carbon build, but they're new. So this build wasn't not that old. Huh. Okay. Yeah, the irons are good and clean. Let me go around. Yeah, clean. Alright, so let me wash even the eShop. Look how really new this thing looks. That's weird to see this right here. Let's sand this down. Huh. I'm gonna clean everything, wash, clean, inspect. Check out the follow uh, the build on Instagram 13B. B as in boy underscore Dorito. 13B underscore Dorito. Just follow it over there. Because those where I show most of the sh short videos and the, the build, everything, putting everything together and then cleaning all the stuff. Thanks for watching. Alright, quick update on the RX-7. Parts are clean and washed. All these the housings. It's a little water in there, let me wipe it off. The inside is clean, so not much to do on it. Now next step, we're going to tape it. 
so I can sandblast on the outside so I have to tape it and then sandblast.